Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm Foxdance or Lille and I'm glad you're here. I'm back with another video and it's not taking me months to make a new one, so I'm pretty glad about that. Um, since Inktober is over, I took a little break of a few days and it was really necessary and needed and I enjoyed the time but I'm ready to get back into art and this is the first piece I did since Inktober and I'll tell you more about it now. Also I'm sorry that the video is turned sideways. I recorded it not in uh, horizontal mode I don't know what it's called but I filmed it uh, like a, a smartphone video so that's why it really is uh, turned sideways and I'm sorry about that I hope you can forgive me for that this is sort of a birthday slash anniversary gift for a twitch streamer I really enjoy She's called Iken or X Iken Yao. Um, you can find her anywhere on YouTube, Twitch, uh, Instagram, or TikTok under that name. And she has her Twitch anniversary on the 3rd of November. And for that, I wanted to pay homage or do a little present for her since I've really enjoyed her streams recently and I thought what better way to dust off all the Inktober uh, black and white mess than with a super colorful and cute illustration of someone I really admire. I discovered her um, Twitch channel during September when she was doing a subathon, since Twitch has discounts on the subscriptions during September, um, she did a so called subathon and she streamed for 16 days straight, even sleeping on stream. And when I first heard that, um, I was really curious about it and since someone I also watch on Twitch rated her I got to experience her stream for the first time. She was building a, a flower bouquet of Lego blocks and I don't know I just instantly fell in love with her and her attitude and just general happiness. It really is infectious and I don't think you can feel bad when you're watching her. I feel like um, her stream came to me at exactly the right moment. Uh, I was feeling really really bad and I was having a hard time coping. I mean I'm still kind of struggling with things about that but um, her stream really gave me a sense of normality and really helped me, like I said, to cope with my own struggles and just um, relax and just let myself entertain and survive for another day, I suppose. And I really can't thank her enough for all that she's done for me and for the whole community. So um, that's also why I want to do this little piece for her. Also she um, spent time with me whilst doing Inktober, while she was doing her streams I was editing my Inktober videos and it was really fun to have something on on the side while I was editing and yeah, it made it less boring to just edit away. Um, I always had someone on the side talking, sometimes 
about nonsense, sometimes about really um, difficult topics with the community. And it was really helpful. Um, not to say that she's old, um, but she's my age or around my age. And I think once you're over 20, it's really hard to find connections with other people because on social media it feels like there are a lot of children, in my opinion children, <laughs> because I don't know, up until the age of 18 I consider uh, people children. So it's nice to have someone that's around your age and knows about other struggles than younger people do. And the community is really lovely. There are older people and younger people, obviously, but it's a nice mix and um, even the Discord she's created is really versatile and you can talk about literally everything on there. And I really appreciate that it's a really heartwarming community and I'm really glad I found them. Also, she got me back into The Sims 4 um she does sometimes um challenges like she started a legacy challenge and it's super fun she does it on wednesdays and also um the challenge she created i think um uh, who will survive and it's basically an event where she spawns a lot of sims into a house and the goal is to see who survives <laughs> And it's so stupid how the sims choose to spend their time <laughs> there and yeah, it's very hilarious to watch. So um, I'm really grateful for Eken and her stream. I'm sure a lot of other people feel that same way, so thank you Eken. And I hope I can watch a lot of streams more of you and I hope you enjoy this video or rather this illustration. And I'm looking forward to the actual celebration on the 6th of November and I'll see you then.
kostenloses Update. Ja, war ich auch fertig. So, wir machen hier noch so ein paar Spooky-Aktionen. Viel Glück an Mysterix. Ähm So for the illustration itself, um, I use watercolor inks by Dr. P.H. Martin. I felt like I just needed to use very vibrant colors for my first piece. Um, and the inks by Dr. H.P. Martens are very vibrant. They are concentrated watercolor inks and you only need a drop of them to really get the most vibrant shade of them. Um, they're also very um, blendable as you can see and I really like the effect that it gives. <coughs> um, yeah, um, the paper that I used um, was a Ecoline paper. It was my first time trying it out and I really, really enjoyed it. It has a very smooth texture and usually I find those make um, the paint not work as smoothly or it will bleed sometimes but with this paper it works perfectly fine and I'm really happy that I decided to give it a try. Um, I was using Holbein brushes. Um, I've been searching for those brushes for years and years and years and last year I finally found them through the Heikala online store. Um, you have no idea how many years I've been searching for brush brushes with a clear handle. So I was super delighted when I finally found them and now I have a little collection of them and I really enjoy using them. They are great quality. And also they look very very fun for the motif. I chose to draw Iken himself holding um, a few chicks. Um, since her community is the community, which basically in German is like Boon's chicken, so the community. <laughs> um, and I really like how this little chicken turned out, um, especially when I added the eyes and all the details. They look so cute and they always remind me of Easter, um, like those little fuzzy decorations that you can get. They're just these puffballs with beaks on them and, and feet, so I really wanted to um, take inspiration from that and draw them. Thankfully, I didn't really have any issues with this piece, like I knew where I was going and it went really well. I didn't have any major oopsies or that I regretted um, putting something down. Um, and my supposed illustration just was under a good star and I'm happy about that since after Inktober I was kind of mm, not scared but I was a little hesitant to start art again. Also I feel like the colors work really well together. The um, warm and cold contrast between the hair and the shirt and the eyes and the cheeks. I think it's a really nice complementary contrast and it really makes the colors pop. So I'm really gl glad I chose these colors. Um, also, um, as you might notice, I didn't even touch the background. That is because um, I decided early on that I wasn't going to color it um, because I wanted to do a solid background anyway and I feared of messing it up. So. I chose to do the background digitally and it worked out really well. 
Uh, I'm glad I didn't color in the original piece. So that's why I didn't color it in. <laughs> I didn't forget about it and I wasn't lazy, I just wanted to do it digitally. like with paintings you really go through ugly stages sometimes and when I was adding the Muji pen uh, I think the piece really came together and like when I did the makeup and the lashes um, outlined the hair um, I think it really made it look crisp and pretty again uh, sometimes I fear that I messed up, but when I'm adding in more detail with liner, for example, I think it always comes back together and I'm really happy about that. <laughs>
For the white highlight, I also used a Dr. PH Martens um, ink, it's the pen white. And besides the Schmink uh, Aero color for the airbrush, I haven't really had any good experiences with white ink, but the Dr. PH Martin pen white is really, really opaque. And I really love using it. It goes great with brushes and also with nib holders. So if you're on the lookout for a white ink, I highly recommend it. I don't think it's too expensive since it will last a long time if you take care of it. And it really is opaque and it's cheaper than getting Posca um, pens and replacing them, I think. So I hope you enjoyed this illustration process and if you want you can leave a like and a comment, subscribe, I would really appreciate it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!